हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो इफ यू हैव जस्ट स्टार्टेड योर इंटर्नशिप और अबाउट टू स्टार्ट विथ योर इंटर्नशिप एंड यू आर टारगेटिंग नीट पी जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव एग्जाम और नवंबर आई एन आई सी टी ट्वेंटी फोर एग्जाम दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू और इफ यू आर नॉट एन इंटर्न बट मे बी अ पोस्ट इंटर्न और मे बी जस्ट स्टार्टिंग विद प्रिपरेशन बट नॉट टारगेटिंग द अपकमिंग नीट पी जी एग्जाम बट ट्वेंटी फाइव नीट पी जी एग्जाम और नवंबर आई एन आई सी टी ट्वेंटी फोर एग्जाम देन दिस वीडियो इज ऑल्सो एप्लीकेबल टू यू so we had announced that uh, at cerebellum academy we would be starting with mission 2.0 and in this video i'll be discussing the details of that plan before i dive into the specifics i just want to bring to your notice some very pertinent points now preparation during internship has got a lot of positive things there there are a lot of positive factors uh, working for you working in favor of you if you start preparing for the entrance examination during your internship right the biggest advantage is the final year is fresh in your head the big subjects medicine surgery obg and peds and the shorter subjects all of that you have studied recently and they are fresh in your mind that's a huge advantage think about it out of 19 subjects nine subjects you have some knowledge right now when i say this students immediately say that sir don't think that we know much about those subjects either we just pass the exams we just read from here and there and we just managed to pass exam even if you just studied even if you to just pass the exam even then the fund of knowledge has to be at a certain level to pass that exam the university exam right so don't underestimate your preparation it is better than you know not knowing anything about those subjects when when somebody starts preparation in the post internship period during the intervening one year most of the things are gone in comparison to that situation you are in a much advantageous situation so it does help second thing not only about the information part not only about the knowledge part another thing that works for you is a couple of weeks back or months back you cleared your final year exam you were in that phase or in the in that flow of studying and it's easier to get back into that flow of studying in comparison to when you start after a one year break so you say that in internship i just want to focus on the work and have some fun and then i'll study of course you can i mean a lot of people do that but then it takes some time for you to get back into that flow so knowledge wise and flow wise it does help you a lot but it's not all hunky dory it's not all rosy there are multiple challenges that you face when you start preparing during the internship one of the major challenges that of overestimation there are many students who are you know very pumped up very very energetic very motivated when they enter the internship and they are like this time whatever happened during ug is happened long back in the past but now it's pg and i am going to show everybody what i can do they are very pumped up very energetic and in that state of you know excitement they tend to overestimate both things first thing being the time available and second thing they sometimes discount how difficult internship can get right so they end up you know taking they, they end up making wrong plans there are people whom i have seen they say that in the internship i'll start reading all the standard books and you know i'll prepare very nicely you don't have that much time what you have to do is you have to make the best out of the available time use the factors going in favor of you and crack the examination so you have to be very practical in your approach limited time there would be times when internship would get tough and given all these constraints how can i put the maximum effort that can help me cross the line so do not overestimate the time or the efforts that you would be able to put during internship now consistency is a big issue when you have lighter postings say you are going for the psm posting or say you are going for maybe psychiatry posting you get more time to study but when you go to the medicine posting or the surgery posting obg there are multiple 24 hour duties or night duties and the consistency takes a big hit students often think that it's the time which is the biggest factor that you don't get enough time during internship you do get enough time the problem is consistency 
the one thing that goes in favor of post interns is they know they have a fixed schedule they will get up in the morning study go to bed in, at night and repeat but in your case sometimes you will come back home at 4 o'clock sometimes you will come back home at 7 o'clock sometime at 2 o'clock sometimes you spend your time in the ward only so consistency becomes a difficulty of course there is a limitation of time also and commitment i think i think not more than 40 percent or 30 percent of students are able to commit to themselves that I'll study during the internship period. They are often in two minds. Sometimes they'll think that let me give my best and at other times they think that after the internship, during the post internship period, I'll study. So this all keeps on fluctuating, right? So these are the problems that you face. This is the advantage that you face. And you know, this is a major advantage. But year after year, what we see is many people, many students who crack the exam are first timers. They do it in the internship itself. So this advantage is not a small advantage and this is not something that I'm just saying for the sake of saying this, this reflects every year in the results. I'm sure in your colleges also, you must have seen your seniors, many seniors who did study properly and cracked in the first attempt. All right. So keeping all of this in mind, we have come up with a plan. We call it Mission 8 PG 2.0, early batch or interns batch. So what exactly are we going to do? We are going to cover certain things that we believe is the quintessential requirements for cracking the NEET PG or INICT exam. What are those? We want to create a structured course. See, as I said, the biggest problem is that of consistency. If we can create a structured course where you know what you have to do, then it solves the problem of consistency. Say, say you came after a 24 hour duty. You slept for a few hours and then you know that there is something happening in the evening hours. And if you don't do it, you'll miss it. That kind of forces consistency on you. So as you might be aware, when we do Mission Need PG classes, which are live classes, all those classes are taken in the evening. Why? Because we want that people who are in the job or interns or even students, they can come back home, come back to the hostel and do the evening classes. Also, as I said, an internship, there might be periods when you would be posted in the medicine or surgery ward and you may lag behind. It's possible that you would not be able to cover a particular class. So what we wanted was that we'll give more breaks. After every few days, there's a break where there are, there are no classes. So that if a student happened to miss a class, that break day is used to bridge the gap. Another thing was QBank. Now in internship or if you're doing a job, the time is limited. The question is, should I complete the class or should I go for QBank, right? So what we thought was, we are starting early, we do have enough time. How about we help the student cover the QBank in the class itself? And that is how we came up with the idea of QBank integration during the live class. What it means, I'll tell you. Again, this is something that has been true forever, you know, for years, this is what you need to do to crack the INICT or NITPG exam, you have to have a good hold on the concepts and you have to have a good hold on the facts. I say this thing multiple times. If you have good hold on concepts, it becomes easier to hold the facts as well. Why? So if you try to memorize every single thing, it's very difficult. But if you know the basic conceptual framework, the same thing becomes easier to remember. And you don't have to resort to rote memory for all of that. Many times with the help of concepts, you're able to answer the question. And where just it's only factual, you are focused on those things for rote memorization. So the mix of these two is extremely important. Without that, it's very difficult to crack the medical entrance examination. Discipline, you have to study almost daily. You have to practice MCQs. Just, just reading is not enough. You need to know how to do the MCQ, how to you know uh, arrive at the right answer, how to uh, rule out the choices, all of that needs to be done. Previous year questions, previous year topics, all of you know, it's, it's like the uh, foundation of cracking the entrance examination and grand test. Whenever you can take the grand test, it gives you the practice of taking the actual exam. Now in Mission Need PG INICT 2.0, we'll be covering the course in a couple of phases. To be precise, there are four phases that we have talked about. The first is the lab zero. So when we say mission need PGI and 2.0, what we mean is 
there is a structure of there is a schedule of live classes all the subjects would be taught live by the faculties that is going to start from april 20th the live classes are going to start from april 20th so what is lab 0 from today till april 20th you have got say 25 days 30 days 20 days depending upon when you start so we want that you use those 20 days to 30 days also properly how can you do that there are two ways one thing is once you are a part of mission need pgi in ICD 2.0 you have access to all the lectures that were taken for the previous batches so you have got mission 1.0 we have got mission 1.5 which is going on so you have access to all those lectures and in fact certain live lectures are ongoing right so what you can do is in these 20 to 30 days you can follow the mission 1.5 schedule whatever lectures are being taken you can follow those classes that is one approach second approach is say you have a particular preference you want to start with a particular subject in that case what you can do as i said all the live lectures are recorded and kept in the app you can watch a recorded video now that recorded video could be of one of the mission classes which means it was taken live at some point of time in the previous batches or the recorded lectures that we have in the app what we call as quick revision videos you can use that in fact if you are going to have a lot of time in your internship or if you are a, not an intern but just starting now you also have the option of using the main videos so we have got main videos and the quick revision videos what we call as rapid revision videos in the app you can use these recorded lectures by the way they are available both in english as well as english so if you are somebody who prefers hindi you can go for the english videos so in these 20 to 30 days maybe you cover two or three subjects and then that gives you a head start right this is lab zero then we have lab one in lab one as i said all the 19 subjects would be covered comprehensively live you can interact with the faculty you can ask questions and the good thing is after the live class this time will also help you complete the q bank so say say i am taking live class for three days and say i've got 400 or 450 questions in my psychiatry q bank so i complete the chapters of day one and then maybe i go ahead and discuss 30 or 40 questions similarly day two day three so by the end of the third day i have covered almost one third of the q bank as well and i am doing it right after the class so it is very easy for you to understand it so live classes plus q bank gts will keep on happening once every two week or once every 20 days that you have to take so this is lap one almost three and a half months in which we will try to complete the entire course let me show you some details so we are starting on april 20th from april 20th to 22nd psychiatry then ortho bigger subjects will get more days like for pharma 27 28 29 30th may 1st pediatrics ophthalmology and so on and so forth so as you can see for example surgery it is 13 14 15th then a break day 17 18 19th so you get six days right and as you can see we have put a lot of break days in between say you could not follow the psychiatry lecture do it on the break day because the lecture was recorded and put in the app so break days are very frequent for the intern batch right why because we want that you get enough time to catch up we understand that in internship there are times when it's difficult to study so all these days are there to help you catch up now this is the preliminary schedule there might be some shuffling of the subjects if it clashes with some other class but broadly this is how it's going to be as you can see there are gts in between so april 20th till say july 30th this is your phase one now neat pg exam happens on 7th of july this is what we know the result gets announced somewhere around 15th or 20th of july and after that new students join so that would be uh, neat pg nict 2.0 regular batch so in the phase two or the lab two now your batch gets coalesced with or merged with the new batch that starts again the same thing will happen in the new batch there will be revision classes but now we start the tests and discussion now we start with the tests and discussion these people they get enough time in the daytime to do the q bank so for them revision classes followed by tests and discussion now you have two options if you have completed the course 
you can just follow you can just attend the revision classes rather than revising yourself you can have passive revision and now you start appearing for these ends the tests and discussions or you may say that i have done the classes earlier i don't want to revise them i'll revise them on their own i'll just go for end you can do that you can mix and match say some subjects you were able to do in the lab one some you were not do them in lab two and go for test and discussion now here again the btr also starts featuring in regularly dr zanab's btr she'll start taking end she usually clubs three four subjects and then take a, takes a lecture and in between she keeps on taking certain lectures that she believe are important for the preparation gts will continue so it is going to continue till say first of november i think we have inict on november 9th now in cerebellum we do something called as marathon before inict and neat pg and fmg we have marathon classes what is the concept of marathon class in a span of 6 to 7 days all the 19 subject faculties cover their respective subjects so it's it usually goes like this every day there is around 10 hours of live class so 10 multiplied by 17 70 hours everything that is needed and all that is important it is covered right before the actual exam and then this marathon class uh, or marathon classes have been a huge hit because imagine in 17 70 hours everything that you need to know is being taught to you but the problem is sometimes students find it difficult to sit for those 10 hours but if you can do it you you carry a massive advantage going into that examination hall all right now the nict is over many of you would get selected great those of you who do not the preparation continues between nict and it pg will have the lab 3 and here we will again have the ends test and discussions live btr ends may continue depending upon you know the time we have gts would continue and again then we will have marathon neat pg right before the neat pg examination now the duration and the exact structure of this lab 3 depends upon how much time do we get between inict and neat pg if it happens in two month it would be slightly different if you get more time it would be different that would be done according to the schedule so this is the broad structure of the entire course as i said what if you miss a class say you had a duty what happens then the nothing happens the, the class would be recorded in next 16 hours or 15 hours it would be put on the put in the app you can watch the recorded lecture but again see live class is a live class it's it's much easier to sit for 5 hours in a live class than to you know watch by yourself 5 hours of videos when somebody is teaching it becomes easier what is the schedule of these classes the classes start at 5:30 pm and they usually continue till till, till 10 pm or 10:30 pm right depending upon course that needs to be covered which notes to follow so we have got two types of notes we have got quick revision notes and we have got main notes so the live lectures usually sync better with the quick revision notes and it's a it, i mean it's a good practice to have quick revision notes in front of you and listen to what teacher is saying and make additions in that quick revision notes right so that you have a one book that you can follow for revision all right apart from the live lectures as i said uh, you get complete access to the recorded videos main videos as well as the rapid revision videos english as well as english of course you get access to q bank gts btr by zanab ma'am all of that is a part so whatever happens in the app you can access it so this is the whole idea behind mission neat pg inicity 2.0 i think nowadays the biggest problem is having a structure to your preparation the content is no longer a problem in fact it it's the reverse the content is so much that you tend to get lost in that content you do not know what to study what not to study right so now it's very important that we have a structure that we can follow we have a mechanism where if we if we drop out of that that consistent plan we can catch up and there has to be something that puts some pressure on you i mean when you get up in the morning it's afternoon you are not feeling like studying but then the notification pops up that the class is about to start dr gobind raigar's class is about to start dr vivek jain class is about to start dr zainab's btr is about to start even if you are not really fresh even if you are a bit tired you open the app teacher is teaching you something goes into your head even on bad days some amount of learning happens so this is the structure that is really helpful and that has helped students in the last exams and i'm sure it will help you guys also so if you are not a part of cerebellum as of now go to the website cerebellumacademy.com look at the plans you'll find mission neat pg inicity 2.0 right there subscribe to it enter in the lab 0 start studying yourself 
20th april i'll be starting with the batch and uh, i'll see you there then so this is the whole idea guys and girls so start studying if you have just started with, your, with your internship whatever direction you give to your studies in the beginning you are likely to continue with that if you think that let me relax for one or two months and then i'll think it keeps on getting difficult of course you can make a comeback but it keeps on getting difficult similarly if you are in the job or preparing for the next year exam this is probably the right time to start all the best may god bless you all Thank you.